Hello my friends. Today we are going to discuss route group, route list and route pattern. First of all, we should know how these things are working and which order we need to configure these three configurations. Before that, I would like to show you how this is working and what is the order which we have to create these three things. So I have created this one. So once we are configuring the route group, route list and route pattern, we should follow this order. First we have to create the route group. You can create one or more route groups, multiple route groups as you need so after that you have to create the route list inside this route list you can call these created route groups right so then you can create route pattern as a third option so inside this route pattern you can call this route list so once the user is dialing it is matching to this route pattern then it is look in the route list and go to the route group ultimately go to the destination okay so we'll check we'll see one scenario of this it is like this in today example I am going to show you how to create multiple route groups route list route pattern and how we call them so in this scenario user is dialing this number okay so this number should match to one of the route pattern so it is matching this route pattern so in this route pattern we have called this route list then this route pattern for this call to this route list then the route list looking what are the attached route group to me so there are two route group attached to this route list so as you can see route group 1 and route group 2 so if this path is available this route list choose this path to communicate to the outside so in the this route group we have called this zip trunk that means voice gateway 1 and we have create zip trunk with the call manager so this call ultimately going this way come here on this route list match to here and this voice gateway and go to the PST so if you imagine this voice gateway is down it is not available now what happened the call will come to here like this come to here and this route list it is looking whether this path is available it is not available right now now what happened it is going to this way from the second choice so once the call hit to this route list it is looking this path no it is not available now call is routed to this path then it is then this second route group forward this to this zip trunk which means the second voice gateway and call manager have a zip trunk so it is forwarded to here so we are going to look how to configure this configuration step by step so we'll go to the configuration first you have to log into the call manager and go to the call routing and route hunt go to the route group first of all you have to create route groups as I mentioned earlier I have two route groups first route group and second route group so I am going to create new route group my first route group name is first RG this is my first route group and second route group is second RG so I will put I will copy this one and paste it here you can select distribution algorithm I will select 
top down and I told you there are two zip trunks available from call manager to voice gateway in here to here and here to here there are two zip trunks for the first route group I am selecting first zip trunk and for the second one I am selecting the second one so if you see you you go come down and you can see zip trunk to the voice gateway one like this I am going to select this zip trunk I will click here and load then I can click add to the route group by button then it is added to the route group now you can see inside this route group we have called this zip trunk done then we can save it okay so our first configuration is done that means this part is done so I am going to create my second route group again you can click add new and I am going to copy this one and I can paste it here also I can select the top top so if you want you can add these two in single route group also that means these two paths you can select here so I want to explain this that's why I am uh, using two route groups to here I think it is best and it is good for you you can have understand and if you want you can put these two zip trunk in one route group no issue with that so for the second route group I am selecting second zip trunk to the voice gateway this is for the second voice gateway ok so I can add this thing to the route group members ok I can save it now I have created my two route groups according to the slide I have to create two route groups this part is done this one I have created and this one I have created if you want you can review it by going to the route hunt and route group you can see first route group there and the second route group is there now we have to create route list so inside the route list you have to call these two route groups that's why I am highlighting this area inside this route list you have to create you have to call route group 1 and route group 2 you have to go to the same path call routing route hunt and route list ok click add new icon I am going to use main rl as my route list name name I will paste here and the description this is my main route list so inside this route list I can call that pre-configured route groups so first of all you have to select the communication manager group I will select default one if you have predefined one you can call it here and you can save it still we didn't call these two route group inside this route list after that you can see there are two boxes available now you can click add route group now what I am doing is select my route group you can see first route group is available and the second one is available so first I click the first route group and you can put some configuration call party transformation mask likewise you can add some configurations here in this case I am talking about the basic configuration so I am just save it you can click OK
so what I did is in into this main route list I have at this first route group so now I am going to add the second one for this route list I have added this one now I am going to add this one okay now I am selecting you can see first one is not there second one is now available why first one is not there because we have already added that one so I can click second one and save it click OK ok so inside this route list you can see route group 1 and route group 2 now I have code so if you want to remove this one you can click this and click this arrow then save it then you can remove the route group if you want you can save it again ok so now this this and this configuration I have done so what I have to do is now I have to create the route pattern for this also I have to go to the call routing route hunt and the route pattern in the route pattern I can click add new I'm going to use this route pattern this is for an example this is for the PSTN call you can paste the route pattern here and you need to select the route partition in this case I am taking internal route partition Okay, so you have to type some description. Okay, and here you have to select what is the route list. So, as you can see, inside the route pattern, you have to call the route list. So, this is what I am doing is I am searching my route list. This is my main route list this one I'm calling this main route list inside the route pattern okay so if you need force authorization code fact code you can tick and you can mention the force authorization code level in this case I am not going to prefer this method so there are some configurations available uh, as I mentioned earlier I am talking about the basic configuration so now you can save this so in the warning button it is asking you have not selected the force authorization code checkbox actually I am I am not going to use this feature in this example so I can skip that by pressing the OK button and click OK again okay our configurations are done so I think you have get better idea so let me explain again once, once there is a user in here and he is dialing this number this is matched to this route pattern right so this mean which we have created one this one it is matches to this route pen after that it is going to this route list there's a user and he's dialing this number and it is matches to the route pen after that this route pattern forward it to this route list sorry this should be main route list then it is looking there are two route group attached to the particular main route list so as you can see in the main route list you can see there are two route group attached 
if you can remember i have attached these two route group into the this main route list get check it again in the main route list you can see there are two route groups so these two route groups now using this route group is using this zip trunk and this route group is using this zip trunk so inside these two route groups i have called these two zip trunks separately so if we think this is the end user i mean receiver call should come this path come into here this go to the route list and first choice is this one and go to here after that from the voice gate this then pstn go to some service provider and reach the receiver if this is not available it is going to here it is matched through this route pattern and go to this main route list and choose the second choice and go to this zip trunk that means uh, secondary voice gate to a zip trunk and it is go to the EST and service provider and go to the receiver ultimately i think you can i think you got the better idea about this and how to configure and how to how it's working if you have any doubt any queries please let me know and if you can please comment under my video i am always welcome your any comment with this so thank you very much thanks for watching thank you